Hello, good evening and welcome to All About Sport. I'm Louise O'Reilly. Joining me on tonight's show is Michael Brennan who's here to talk to us about what has been happening with football here in Cavan Town and with the county and club football. So, Michael, thank you very much for joining us on All About Sport. No problem at all. How have you been? Not so bad, how are you? <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> so it's been very busy um, with the football recently. Yeah, it um, has, yeah, that's right. Um, we're going to kick off with... Uh, Club football. Mm -hmm. So there's been a lot happening. So tell us. Yeah, well, since the last day we were in uh, together, you know, there, there's been a lot of uh, football played in the county. Um, uh, we won't run through all the results since then, obviously, but we run then through each division and the results from the last week or so. Um, and uh, we'll just take a look at uh, who's been impressing and who's kind of slacking off and stuff. Um, well, in Division 1A, um, Lavi were playing Cullins. This was a round four match that hadn't been played at the time. Uh, Lavi 2-11, Cullins 1-12. That was a 17-point to 15-point victory for uh, Lavi. Um, Kings Court 2-9, Mullahorn 1-8. Uh, Den 1-7, Cavan Gales 2-9. Lacken 8 points, Kings Court 1-11. Den 7 points, Mullahorn 1-9. Ballinia 112, Rammer 115, Cavan Gales 48, Cacullins 5, and Lavi 116, Castle Rahan 2 points. So any surprises out of them games? Yeah, really? absolutely. Um, the Lavi Castle Rahan game uh, st stands out. Uh, Lavi 116, Castle Rahan 2 points. Castle Rahan were in the flying, they were in the top half of the table. They would have been, uh, with a victory there, they would have been in second place. Um, and Lavi, who were struggling and only had five points before that game, yeah. um, Lavi came out and, and, and they annihilated them. Like it was, I, I'm just surprised at... I, all I can think of is that maybe Ronan Flanagan and Kean Mackey yeah. were missing for uh, for Castle Rahan, but still, I think Castle Rahan should be strong enough, yeah. even without the two boys. Um, and then, uh, let me see, the, the, the other standout fixt uh, 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 fixture from two weeks ago was... Um, uh, Rammer versus Cucullins. Um yeah. Cucullins who were again bottom of the table, second from the bottom, and Rammer who were second from top. Uh, uh, Cucullins uh, caused a bit of a um, Cucullins, sorry, Cucullins caused a bit of a uh, an upset there with a draw, um, which was a, a bit of a surprise because uh, they had they hadn't been going well and Rammer had been doing so well. Um, Balinha as well lost for the first time, which was a bit of a surprise. Um, they had been unbeaten on, on, until then and uh, it was a top of the table clash with Rammer it was 112 to 115 so uh, yeah but look Balignal bounced back so they will, they'll, yeah. they'll be there or thereabouts come the shake up of the league um, then uh, just moving on to Division 1B I heard all these notes <laughs> been, someone's been doing their homework <laughs> yeah well you know <laughs> there's, there's a lot been happening you know what I mean um, in Division 1B um, there was a, a again uh, there was some round 4 games that needed to be played um, Gown at 2-9 Crucial Law 1-10 that was uh, 15 points to 13 in favour of Gown um, Drumgoon 2-10 Killigarry 2-11 one point boon for Killigarry. That was actually quite a surprise. It was played in Drumgoon, okay. and Drumgoon are very hard beaten uh, uh, yeah. down in Drumgoon. So Killigarry. Sure, they were disappointed with that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And and Drumgoon had played uh, Drumley ourselves the week beforehand, and and they'd beaten us by eight points down, seven or eight points down in, in Drumgoon. So, yeah, and um, that was a bit of a surprise in in Division One B. Um, Gowna 111, Balturbet 5 points. Um, Gowna really going strong at the minute. Uh, top of the table, 7 wins and 1 loss. Uh, nice 3 point. points clear of everybody with a game in hand. And Balturbet, Balturbet are struggling, you know, that's 7 games played. Yeah, always, yeah. yeah, 7 games played and only 1 win. So um, that's it's, it's not looking great for Balturbet at the minute. Um, Drumlane and Drumgoon also played in round 9. Um, it was this. This was a crazy score. Four goals and seven points to Drumlane. Drumgoon won seventeen. So it was a oh. twenty points to nineteen points victory for oh. Drumgoon over Drumlane. Um, so Drumgoon, were, Drumlane were playing Drumgoon. Drumlane were playing Drumgoon in Drumlane in and they Newtown. Bet them. And Drumgoon bet them by a point. All yeah, right, okay. Them by a point. So, right, uh, so was, that was. That but it was a high scoring game. game. Yeah, high scoring game. Um, and then we have Ballyhays and Red Hills. Ballyhays eleven points. Red Hills one eight. Again, people were saying that this was a bit of a shock, um, in that uh, Ballyhays were struggling this year, um, and uh, Red Hills were were going really well, um, but Ballyhays they've got their team in order 
and they're really climbing back up the table. Um, and it was an impressive uh, display to get a draw against Red Hills, who've been flying so high lately. Um, okay. But uh, uh, as everybody knows, in, in uh, local derbies, it's very hard to call. We played Killy Gary ourselves the other night, <laughs> and we drew with Killy Gary. Cullens and Rammer, uh, again, you know, when it comes to a local derby, there's pride at stake and, and there's bragging rights. So, you <laughs> yeah. know, uh, these teams are all, all hard beaten. Okay. Um, so that's that's basically Division One B finished. Uh, just to just to say, Gown on top, Killigarry in second, Drumgoon in third, Ballyhays in fourth, Red Hills in fifth, and Drumley in sixth, Crushalaw in seventh, Coot Hill eighth, Balterbuck ninth, and Drumlane lagging behind in tenth. Brilliant. So what's up next then? Uh, okay. We'll run through Division Two then. Um, Division Two have uh, the. You know, they've got one team that are really standing out at the minute, that's Killashandra. Um, there's only two teams in the whole county that are unbeaten at the minute. Only one team that have won all eight, all of their league games so far, and that's Killashandra. They really are. Um, they're running away with Paul Cox league. will be delighted to hear that. He's <laughs> on every game. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've won eight games out of eight. Um, they've scored 150 points and they've only conceded 74. Um, which is phenomenal. They've got a score difference of 76 points and there's nobody else in the division that comes right. close to them. They're 60 points of anybody. Um, it's uh, in a very strong position for very, the championship. Very, very strong position, yeah, yeah, they are indeed. Um, you know, Kilshandra will be pushing on uh, from the league into the intermediate championship yeah. and, you know, they'll be look. I, I think they're going to give it a good run yeah. this year. I think Kilshandra will be there or thereabouts. Um, just lagging behind again, Cornafain, uh, bottom of Division Two, um, I think you know it's 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 tough to see the likes of Cornafane down the bottom of Division Two. Even even just above them, Cavan Gales on five points, and um, Cavan Gales have been the kingpins of Cavan. So football. in Division Two, we've got Cavan Gales, Cornafane, Killeshandra. Yeah, Killeshandra on top, Cavan Gales and Cornafane second from bottom. Um, Baileyborough in second place with nine points. St Mary's of Swan and Bar are um, in third with eight points, but I can't see, I can't see Swan and Bar um, pushing on this year, especially after losing Gerard McKeon, who uh, did his cruciate ligament. Yeah, you were saying that. Yeah, that's it's a massive loss, loss to both yeah, Swan and Bar and uh, Cavan senior team. Yeah. Um, he's he's a machine. Um, and he's such a good lad. Like he trains so hard. It's, I'm, I'm very yeah. disappointed for the lad. And you know, all our all all our so best wishes. He's going to be out for, for, he's he's going going to be for eight to nine months at least. Right, so you that's know. a long time. He's going to yeah. miss the whole league now and championship. He's going to miss, yeah, yeah, and, and 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 more so for Cavan. He's going to be gone. You know, like um, yeah. the on the Cavan team, there was only one player who scored more than him this year, and that was Martin Dunn. And like for a midfielder to be out scoring your forwards. All year, which is fantastic. Like you know, he he, he really is a, a a gem for Calvin football, and he's going to be one for the future. Twenty two years of age as well. Yes, yeah, like, he's know. still young. He's yeah. at his prime. That's it. He's got he's got plenty of, ahead of him. But uh, as we're saying, like it's it, it's 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 sad to see the likes of Calvin Gales there, bottom of Division Two. They've been the kingpins of Calvin football. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it it just shows you what's happening. In, 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 I know, yeah, There yeah. is a turn. There, there is a know, turn, and it's like everyone likes to see a turn, a bit of a shake up. I yeah, suppose, so that's it, you know. And uh, they've uh, always been doing very well. Yeah, so. they've been the kingpins of Calvin yeah. football for for fifteen, twenty years now, and uh, they've always had a great second team. At, at some stages, they even had a third team as well. I'm not sure if they do this year, but like every other team and every other club, every, uh, they've been hit with immigration and guys uh, heading off for work uh, here and there, be it. Uh, um, uh, Australia, America, or whatever. So you losing know. some of their good players. Exactly, and, 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 and retirements players. as well. They've lost players as well. So they, yeah. their under twenty ones need to step up, and their minors yeah. will have to step up in the next couple of years. Um, but uh, uh, that 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 really concludes Division Two. Just uh, just to uh, say that Kilchandra are, are, are really running away with yeah. it, and it's Bailey versus St Mary's, uh, Swan and Bar second and third. Okay, great. So on to Division Division Three. Three. Um, Again, uh, this this division has the only other unbeaten team uh, in the county, which is Bally McHugh. They've played seven, won six, and drawn one, and they're going very well. And they're in second place. Um, okay. Kill have played a game more, and are one point ahead of Bally McHugh. Um, in third place are Arva. Arva probably will be there or thereabouts come yeah. the end of it. They've got um uh, they've got a really young team coming through there. 
um, they have uh, uh, Kevin Boucher um, uh, and the two Morrises and they've got a couple of other couple of other great um, county footballers they've all played at underage level with county, with the county so um, Arva will be one to watch this year and um, Killambally McHugh will always be there as well a yeah. uh, bit of a shout there for Kildallan who are on fourth place. Um, <laughs> so what flag I'm going to be flying? Oh, well, that's it. Kiltallan Drum Lane, it's always a confusing one. <laughs> you'll have to, you'll have to uh, sew the two of them together. That's it, Jim. But yeah, uh, Kildallan, right Kildallan are doing uh, very well again this year. They got to a junior semi-final last right. year. Um, and for a club that has been hit, they were hit hugely with emigration. They, they really were, yeah. They, they suffered a lot. That oh, they did. Like, like You know, they had, to, they had to bring back lads uh, uh, that had retired like yeah. in their late 30s, early 40s. But in the last couple of years, they've brought on a few minors and whatever, and they're really coming good. Um, they've Ronan Riley back from Australia, I believe, as well. And, uh, you know, uh, Fergal Maguire, fragile. He's, 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 back. he's back training. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was just uh, I just heard in the grapevine earlier on that he's back training, so <laughs> he'll be a great addition Did to the Did you ever play with Kildallan in your time when you were uh, I parts. played Hurlem with Kildallan. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I played Hurlem. No, I've only played for Trumbly uh, and, and, and Simon St. Gales. They're the only two okay, so that I've you're... played for. Um, Butler's Bridge. Uh, Butler's Bridge are in fourth from bottom, just ahead of Knockbride in Division 3. Um, again, Butler's Bridge struggling to get numbers out. Fergal Flanagan is involved with the yeah, they're under twenty one under 21s yeah. and, and, and with the Calvin seniors, so he can't play a lot with them or whatever. But you know, they, they they've only got a squad of maybe nineteen players, you know, um for a team again who who had a second team only a couple of years ago, like they they've only got nineteen for their first team now, wow, you know. So it's, gosh, Not they're really bright. down in numbers. Yeah, they're really down, like you know, and, and every every club is, is, is the same. Not bright again. You know, they were such a strong senior team in Cavan for years. Yeah. You know, they had the likes of your Larry Riley's, uh, right, Peter yeah. Riley, um, Rayfield Rogers, John Tierney, all these guys that all played county football. And, um, you know, and they were challenging for senior championships only six, seven years ago. And to see them uh, at the bottom of Division Three, uh, third from bottom, you know, is just it's, it just shows you the way. Um, so I suppose they've definitely lost maybe a lot of players through it. immigration. Yeah. And have they said that it, it would kind of, well, people thought maybe it wasn't going to really, it wasn't really true, it wasn't going to impact, but it, you can see that it is now. Oh, you definitely can, yeah. yeah you can see in certain areas uh, and, uh, of Cavan, you can definitely see it. Again, Shannon Gales, Shannon Gales, who who um, uh, again contested a couple of junior finals yeah. in the last in the last 10 years, they're struggling. Um, they've only got four points from five games. And I know maybe two years ago, yeah. um, there was talk that uh, of, of the club disbanding. But luckily enough, they got they got their uh, ship in order and 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 they're they're still able to field a team. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Um, Myra McFins, you know, they're they're bottom of the table with zero points. And again, another club who were thinking of disbanding as well. You know, it's great to see these clubs surviving. So it is. Um, but you know, there's a lot of work behind the yeah. scenes to keep these clubs on the go. Brilliant. Well, um, thanks for that rundown on what's been happening in club football, Mickey. But um, uh, when we come back, we're going to actually take a short break. But when we come back, we're going to be talking um, with Mickey again about what's been happening in the uh, county football. So um, stay tuned. Pat Short here, you're watching Cavan TV. 